Yesterday I made this marking knife as a test piece just to see how it would turn out because I wasn't sure if I'd like it. I rushed it, it only took a couple of hours but I really like it. So today I'm going to make another and I'll show you how I do it. For the blade we need a piece of high carbon steel so it can be hardened. There's many items that could be reused like an old file, a circular saw blade, a reciprocating saw blade and there'd be many other things if you put your mind to it. But I'm going to use a piece of 15 and 20 just because I have it and it's the perfect thickness. Here's my original sketch, I didn't change anything and from that sketch I made a template and that's what I used to make this blade. I'm going to spend a couple of minutes making a better template out of aluminium in case I ever want to make any more of these again. I'm very excited to be joining the Makers Mob and in preparation for that I thought I'd share some amazing free plans from the other great makers already on there. Simply click the link to the Makers Mob in the description below to download your free plans and I'll see you there very soon with my own step-by-step -step tutorials. I'm leaving around half a millimetre on the very edge. This will help prevent any cracks developing when I come to heat treat it.
So heat treat a tool like this, you don't need anything fancy. All you need is a blowtorch. I'm directing the heat just away from the tip so I don't burn that too much. And when it gets up to a cherry red, I'll check it with magnet and quench it in vegetable oil. That's one end hardened, now I need to do the other. Now that's hardened, I'll clean it up, put it in the oven for two hours to temper at 210 degrees C. And while that's tempering, I'll cut out the leather pieces for the handle, and to help me do that, I've made another template. I'm leaving a little extra on the sides of the leather and I'll cut that down to size after it's glued onto the blade. I need to finish the ends now because it'll be difficult to do those when they're glued to the blade. I'm doing that by burnishing them with this dowel. I've just shaped it and burnished that itself and I'm putting a bit of water on the end of the leather and that's burnishing them up pretty well. To avoid the blade getting too hot and ruining the temper, I've slowed the belt grinder down and I'm cooling it with water in between passes. I'm using epoxy to glue the leather. On the first one, I used five minute epoxy, but that really isn't good enough and was just used for speed. So for this one, I'll use high strength epoxy and I'll leave it clamped up overnight. I suppose it was expected, but that was moving around a bit too much. So I've unclamped it and I'll try something else. I gave it quite a few coats of wax and buffed it between each one, but just as I was about to finish, I wasn't paying attention and the blade got caught in the mop and it flew out my hand. So there's a bit of damage. Luckily it's on the back. I've sanded it out the best I can and I think I can live with it.
Having two sharp ends wouldn't be ideal if you keep your tools in a pouch or a pocket, but as I keep mine on the workbench, having a marking knife and a scratch all in one tool, I think that works out perfect. It wasn't easy trying to come up with a unique design, but I'm very happy with it. I need to get better working with leather, but it came out okay with a bit of sanding here and there. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.